The Milken Family Foundation honors exceptional educators across the country, and Plymouth North High School English teacher Shelley Terry is the 2023 recipient of this prestigious award. Oh, when did I want to first be a teacher? So if you asked my mom, it would be when I was in preschool. I would leave preschool with these fun little letter people and I would ask her to stop at like, I think the CBS on the way home had a, or like the Tedeschi's had a photocopier and I would make her make photocopies so I could go home and quote unquote teach to my little sister um, the little letters of the alphabet. As I kind of progressed through elementary school, I had a little bit more of an inkling and then finally once I reached high school, I realized exactly what I wanted um, to be a high school English teacher. I have my undergrad from the University of New Hampshire. I was a double major in English teaching and criminal justice. Two very different things, but at one point I was thinking about potentially being a teacher to inmates for a while, and then decided I wanted to go the more traditional route um, once graduating. So this is my 18th year at Plymouth North High School. This is where I've been all along. I have been pretty much teaching similar classes um, throughout those 18 years, so a print journalism class, a broadcast journalism class, and then American literature are kind of the ones that I most frequently teach as well as AP language. I think probably most teachers have several teachers that inspired them to be a teacher. I think the most memorable one that I had in elementary school was Mrs. O'Brien, who I'm still in touch with. She's my fourth grade teacher. She instilled a love of learning and fourth grade was a really difficult year for me health-wise. And I think just to have someone that cared so much was key. And then once I got to high school, my high school English teachers really shaped who I was. Um, Ms. Carrick Helmer really got me into Shakespeare. And then finally, uh, Mr. John Hopkins, who I'm also still in touch with. I took a class with him actually last, um, last spring in poetry. And he just instilled this love of the great Gatsby and American lit. And it's exactly why that's the most classes I teach are in fact American literature. The Milken Award was founded by this gentleman who wanted to appreciate teachers throughout the country and we didn't know what the award was the day that it happened. Um, we knew for about a week and a half that we had an all-school assembly and an award was happening. I assumed it was like something for the whole school because why would you have the whole school for one teacher, um, which was mortifying. And when we actually realized about an hour before what the award was, oh, it's the Milken Award, we all went and started looking up what the qualifications were. So we found out like it had to be someone mid-career, someone who's passionate in the classroom, but also tries to help people outside of the classroom. And so immediately at lunch that day, an hour before it happened, we all started throwing out names. And I think the most important thing that I wanna make sure I always reiterate is that there are so many people from high school that could have gotten this award. So many people are working hard. Um, and then when I heard my name, I secretly wanted to crawl into a shell because I was like, oh my God, they just said my name. So at first it was complete panic, um, which I think you can kind of see on my face. And then by the time it actually happened, it was just astonishing. I think, you know, I was excited about that day in general because the person from the Milken Foundation that came and gave the speech just talked about how important it is to appreciate educators and even just her words made me happy. And it didn't really quite sink in that I had also won this money as well. All my students keep joking about how like, oh, what have you done with your money? Um, it's really about that they wanted to appreciate teachers. And I think that number one, that doesn't happen enough. Especially when you get to the high school years, the Christmas presents stop, the end of the year cards stop. It, that, that's for elementary teachers. So for high school teachers, to know that people do appreciate all the hard work that you've done and that you've put in is really seen was really unbelievable. Um, the other piece was finding out after the fact how many people had been interviewed about me for the months before this and I had no idea. People in other departments, colleagues, my bosses, I was just very shocked at how much they knew about me when I was selected. I think the hardest thing about teaching is that they say, I don't even know what the percent is now. It's probably higher than it was when I started 18 years ago. How many percent of teachers leave after the first five years? It is a million times different than it was 18 years ago. Every single year brings something new, especially recently. I think with technology, cell phones changed the way we taught. COVID changed the way we taught. 
Now as a high school English teacher, we have artificial intelligence and ChatGPT changing the way that we teach. Um, it is hard to be someone who always has to keep changing what they're doing every single year, but it's always the kids that bring you back to it because in the end, yeah, these kids can put in an answer into ChatGPT and it can give them an answer, but our importance in our classroom is to make sure that we're teaching kids to really read critically, think critically, and write critically. And I think that no matter how many advances there are in technology, that that's our goal. And every single one of my students will say to not give up. Like that is my goal, is like never give up. I don't really let kids just not do the work. I hound them, I chase them, I email their houses, I call their parents, I do whatever I can. And so I think by the time they leave my classroom, my goal is they realize what they're capable of and I'm hoping as they go through life, they realize to not just give up easily and to move forward and always try their best. If you enjoyed this video by the local scene, please give a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching.